Hello there, my students. Thanks for joining me. This is a really interesting session, in my opinion. We're going to talk about this concept of learned helplessness. And you, it sounds kind of bad, doesn't it, when you, when you use that phrasing, learned helplessness. Helplessness is not a good thing, right? And I would sort of summarize this uh, subject by saying that this is like the failure of all of our psychological approach uh, methodologies. If this happens, everything has gone wrong in terms of psychological preparation. So I've put the definition in here. It's a state of mind. Well, we know it's about that because obviously we're studying sports psychology. A state of mind where the performer believes failure is inevitable. Well, first of all, just sit back and think, right, if someone believes failure is inevitable, just like someone might say to themselves, I can't do maths, there's no way I can learn a foreign language, I just can't do it. Think about the behaviours which follow that. You may w well actually believe one of those things might be true about you. I guarantee you it isn't, by the way, but you might believe it and think about how your behaviours towards maths, towards foreign language, towards any other object, um, conceptual or real, has been affected by that mentality. I thought this a long time about dancing, you know, that like, if I go on the dance floor, it's going to be bad, <laughs> you know, and then, you know, with a couple of positive experience, went to a couple of classes and I started to overcome it, right, started to sort of think, oh, you know, I might not be a world beater, but I can actually do this, right, so um, you might, a lot of this sort of belief that failure is inevitable will lead, will lead to what we would loosely describe as avoidance avoidance you know and if you think back to like the things that you felt you weren't very good at as a younger person you will probably follow on from that a load of avoidance towards those things whether it's drawing or maths or language or dance or football or tennis or whatever you know you will have done a lot of avoidance behaviors in all likelihood because of this mentality if you've ever experienced some of you won't have by the way some of you won't have and if that's the case good for you that's great the other thing i'd say about um this concept of learned helplessness before we really get into the nitty-gritty of the characteristics of it is that it can kind of